God. Oh, God. First elimination has just happened. Dahlia is no longer with us. R.I.P., honey. I love you all, Dahlia. I think that this was a pretty strong wake-up call. Yeah. Every single episode, one of us is gone. Dahlia going home, like one of the most beautiful girls amongst us, it feels like anyone can go home. Now the competition has begun. I love you, broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> After the lip sync, I have a fire under my ass. And if I have what it takes to send Dahlia home, I have what it takes to send all the other girls back home too. So be ready for the French bitch, because she's coming for you. Is that prêt? It feels so, like, mixed emotions that, like, Dahlia just left and Sherry just won at the same time. So, yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Sherry. It was so well deserved. I am feeling a bit vindicated, like, bitch, I told you so. You didn't um, lead us at all. The times I felt like we were carrying you. I thought I did a good job. I am happy that I chose two powerhouses of Queens for my team, and we did it. I still think that Aiden is a weak competitor, but she's definitely a smart bitch. I mean, she picked me. <laughs> I thought I did a good job. I mean, it would have been nice to get critiqued on something that I like to think that I'm very, very good at. It was nice to be safe, but, like, I want to be at the top, honey. Because of Britta's reputation in New York, she came in here expecting that her name would carry her through the competition and that she would slay. But unfortunately, Britta, it doesn't work that way. It's, it's like Nikki said, I mean, different situations, of course, but it's a wake-up call for me. I feel like the past two challenges have been things that I should be excelling in. I sing, I dance, I do improv. I want to be in the top. I want $5,000, too. Okay. Jen seems to be really pissed. Bitch, I just sing for my life, and I'm listening to you saying, like, I really want to be on the top. Well, listen, that was the first one down. Uh, there's going to be many more. That's right. 12 girls with one, win one, one break. Break. And if we ever work in a group again, and I tell you we did good and to calm down. I just have to listen to me, bitch. For me, I thought I did light makeup for that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Your makeup is distracting. You thought you did light makeup for the challenge? Yeah. You, bro. <laughs> what the hell? That's light makeup for you? I don't even do that face on New Year's Eve. What light makeup are you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're still here, Nikki. But watch out. You're next. <laughs> this is a very strong group of girls, so it's time to start stepping up my game. Oh, this is still a competition. Even though we're playing nice, we got to play to win. I got to play to win. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race receives a one-year supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics and a cash prize of $100,000 with extra special guest judge, Leslie Jones. Another day, another tour. <laughs> <laughs> a little skip, skip, a dip, a dip. I wasn't at the top in this last challenge. Going forward, I need to show the judges the true Britta that everyone in New York City knows, loves, and the reason why I'm perfectly capable of winning this entire goddamn thing. How'd y'all sleep? Y'all sleep good? Yeah. So I slept yeah. like a baby. I had an amazing dream last night. What was it about? What was it? <laughs> I won RuPaul's Drag Race season 12. <laughs> and then you woke up. My queens, does a baller make you holler? Well, take a swing, Miss Thing, and then drop it like it's hot, or you're going to have to bounce. <gasps> swish, swish, fish. Ah! Hello, hello, hello. Ah! Yeah. Ladies, America's next drag superstar needs to think globally and act locally. For today's mini challenge, you'll be raising awareness of the world's declining bee population Aww. by shaking your stingers to a buzzy little mashup we call it the Beehive Jive. <laughs> oh, pit crew. Oh. Oh. 
I've never seen you wear more clothes. <laughs> now, using these beautiful fixins, plus <laughs> hair products from Hask and pads from Planet Pepper, you've got 20 minutes to get into quick bee drag. Hashtag drag race. Get to it, busy bee. <laughs> It's complete, utter chaos. Bees communicate through dance, and the only thing that we're communicating right now is ah! It's not like butt. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, time's up. Beehive, get information. Now, bees are a crucial part of our ecosystem, pollinating fruits, vegetables, and the grains we eat. So basically, without bees, we are Without D's, <laughs> let's keep the bees alive. Doing the beehive jive. Hit it. Where's my happy pin? We don't want to. Come on, Cardi B. Rock'em Sakura. She needs to run a honeycomb through that wig. Heidi! I will never say Heidi in closet ever again. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. Bobby likes to make a statement. If you take a close look at her drawers, it says, B, leave. <laughs> Don't get your knickers in a honey bunch. What did I call me? Britta. <laughs> Nikki doll. Get it, Miss Sting. Jada Essence Hall. Come on, girl. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, she is giving me Beyonce. Aiden Day. Oh, and this bitch is giving me Beyonce. Aiden is definitely the Edith Piaf of the Beehive. Bitch looks sad. Simply Jen. Oh, honey. Oh, careful with that stinger. Just a tip. Gee, <laughs> gee, good. of today's mini challenge is Gigi Good. <laughs> yes, I won the mini challenge. <laughs> I think this means that I'm the queen bee of the season, doesn't it? Congratulations. You've won $2,500 cash money, Henny. Oh. And in your name, Hask will be making a $2,500 donation to the honeybeeconservancy.org, where you'll find simple things you can do to save the bees. Yay! And most importantly, we'll be posting your bee videos on Instagram at RuPaul's Drag Race to haunt you for the rest of your lives. Yeah. Now, ladies, did you know drag race and sports have a lot in common? They both involve competition, colorful outfits, and balls. OK. So for this week's Maxi Challenge, we are throwing a fashion ball, darling. Yeah! Why y'all gagging so? She bring it to you every ball. <laughs> I was gagging on the balls. Now you need to slam dunk three home run looks. First look is Lady Baller serving sexy Title IX realness. Second look, basketball wife realness. Yes. 
A posh look that screams, he owns everything, Hanny. And for your third lurk, you need to design and create a look that serves balls to the wall eleganza. Oh. <laughs> now to create your eleganza look, you can play with all these balls. Plus materials from the FNS Fabrics Wall. <laughs> I have been waiting for a design challenge, so I'm really excited to show what I can deliver. Hey, listen, I gotta bounce, but uh, gentlemen, start your engine and may the best woman win. Yeah! <sighs> I am a little nervous. You know, this is the first design challenge we have, and I've only sewn one garment before this, so just pray for me. Subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel so you don't miss any of RuPaul's Drag Race.